30 seconds is not so short, you know what I mean? Alright guys, so from here, welcome to another video. So today, I'm going to talk about what I have been doing to improve on my IPPT which consists of push-ups, sit-ups and 2.4 So as you've already seen on the previous video Okay, I I do for I I did a 2.4 cam trial push-up and sit-up and you can see that I only get 12.40 for running My push-up I think is 42 and my sit-up is about 46 So that's my starting point after about one and a half year close to two year of not training them sit up push up and uh, 2.4 so now i have finally you know been training for the past eight weeks because my test is on 13th april today is 5th of april so i have one more week okay before the test so i train for about eight weeks so i'll be sharing with you guys what are some of the trainings that i've been doing you know for my training so enjoy and let's go Alright, so for the push-up, okay, I have to do as many as I can, okay, within the 60 seconds. So, what I do is I split my training into two parts, okay. One is for muscle strength and one is for more of those endurance because I have to last for 60 seconds. So, it's the combination of muscle strength and endurance that is what I'm training for. Okay, so firstly, I train two times a week for push-up. So, one of the days... It will be focused more towards uh, muscle strength. Alright, so for the strength portion of the push-up, I'll be doing more towards like anywhere from 9 to 14 rep maximum. I try not to go more than that. So personally, I use like a uh, weighted, like I'm using the plates, okay, the weighted plates in the gym. So you can use anything that is resistant. If not, you just do body weight if you just happen to fall between 9 to 14. So as long as I increase you know, if I can do more than 14, I'll be adding the more resistance so that I always keep it between 9 to 14 because you need the muscle strength, you know, to get stronger muscle so that you can do more push-up. So that is one portion. For another portion, I'm doing more towards muscle endurance. So all the muscles that I have, I'm going to, you know, make them endure and, you know, increase their endurance by just doing body weight, okay? At least 15 reps and higher, no less than 15. 15 reps to higher for 4 sets so for every workout okay push up be it muscle endurance or strength i'll be doing 4 sets in total okay for each set okay for each training i'll be hitting like a straight set meaning like if i were to hit 10 i'll try to hit 10 for all the sets yes all the 4 sets then let's say if i manage to hit 10 reps for all the 4 sets the next time round i'll you know, the next session, I'll aim for 11 reps. Same thing, 11, 11, 11. I try to hit for 4 sets. If I cannot hit for 4 sets, let's say I get 11, 11, 11, 9 or 8. Okay, never mind. I'll just stick to it until I can hit 11, 11, 11, 11 for 4 sets. Then I will increase the repetition or increase the weight such that I'm falling between the those ranges 9 to 14. Or 15 to above which just which I'm just using body weight for muscle endurance so that's how I will progress okay increase the reps or increase the weight so that is something that I will do for push-up all right so for the sit-up same thing okay push-up and sit-up is a different movement but the way I train the, the principle is the same which by whereby I will have two days okay the first day I'll be focusing on muscle strength and another day i'll be focusing on muscle endurance so there are two different two different days uh, for sit up as well for the strength training as you can see i'm using like weighted anywhere from 9 to 14 reps okay if if i can do more i will add if i can do more than 14 okay for all the four sets i will add uh, resistance i'll add the weight so i'm holding the kettlebell so that is how I train and then yeah just keep it between 9 and 14 and for endurance same thing for the other day endurance focus same thing okay I'll be doing just a body weight wrap out as many as I can try my best to maintain for all the four set okay straight set straight me like maintaining so just a body weight so I will do that and that is my day two so I'll just uh, have two days of push up in a week two days of sit up in a week so that is all sit up so it's the same okay for push up and sit up the principle is the same you want to focus 
aeroplane, aeroplane, no! So yeah, oh. I always believe that for push up or sit up, the training principle is saying we want to get the muscle strength, okay, we want to get the endurance because we have to go for 60 seconds, it's not so short, you know what I mean? So yeah, so those are the training for push up and sit up. Alright guys, so this is how I'm going to train for 2.4. So yes, I have been running for, you know, like one and a half years or close to two years, you know, because of COVID and stuff, I did manage to do my previous IPT and you know, I had a long break and personally, this <laughs> play! Why tonight has so many plays? Why? Ah. <laughs> so personally, COVID has, you know, uh, delayed the IPT. So the previous year, I didn't take it because I didn't take it, you know, I didn't train for it. So, I didn't run last year and you know so I've been haven't been running for over like you know at least one and a half year so that's the reason why and I used to run a lot in the past you know I really enjoyed running when, when I was way younger I do a lot of endurance sports you know activity so that is my base so I kind of have the base but you know you always lose what you have if you are not using much makes sense okay so yeah so I haven't been running so to restart my running journey so what i did was i just do an easy run like a, just a jogging at my own pace for about you know, anywhere from three to five click so that's why i did uh for the first few sessions of running then once i get comfortable with running again what i did was i add uh, two interval training sessions in a week yes two interval training so for interval training okay i will uh run for 400 meter and then I will rest, okay, for the a period of time. I'll, I'll share with you more. And then I will run for 400 meters again. I will rest and then I just repeat for a total of 6 rounds. Which means 400 times 6 is 2.4 km. That's the distance that I'm going to run. So that's what I did for interval. So what I did was, okay, I run at a pace. It's not too fast like I'm sprinting. It's not. Uh, it's not too slow as well. So I will say at a quite a fast pace of my jogging pace it's faster than my jogging pace but a slightly faster pace but not too fast because i want to run for 400 meter and i want to maintain that the energy that pace for six rounds you know that's the reason why you know, we all have different pace so for me it falls around like you know initially it's like one minute 50 seconds okay the first few trainings one minute 50 seconds so I, I ran for 1 minute 50 seconds so what I did was I rested for 1 minute 50 seconds again and then I go for 1 minute 50 seconds again run and then I rest for 1 minute 50 seconds so I repeat for 6 times and then when I rest I just take a walk try to catch my breath <sighs> okay so yeah that's what I did then eventually as I you know can maintain that 1 minute uh, 1.50 um, you know 1 minute 50 seconds what I did was I can maintain the 1 minute 50 second for let's say like you know uh, 5 rounds or 4 rounds so it's, it's a sign that I'm getting better so what I did was I run faster for the next interval session so I fall around 1 minute 40 plus okay second plus so I try my best to maintain that 1 minute 40 second plus throughout the 6 rounds and at the same time I also rest for 1 minute 40 seconds so it's 40 seconds you know it's like 1, one to 1 uh, ratio like that like run and walk no rest yeah <laughs> so yeah that's what i did and then i keep go 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 and then as i can maintain the one minute uh, 40 second pace then i increase the speed again to one minute 30 and then i reduce the rest so what i'm trying to say here is as you get better as you can maintain certain pace for for six rounds either you can increase your speed of running so you drop your timing or you can Maintain the speed of your running, but you can reduce your rest timing from let's say from 1 minute 40 to 1 minute 30, but you still continue running at 1 minute 40 seconds. So what I'm going to say is you can play with uh, running timing, okay, go faster, maintain the rest timing, or maintain the running timing and then reduce the rest timing. So you can play with either one of them. So that's what I did and currently I'm about 1 minute 30 plus. That's why I've been maintaining for more rounds and then I've been resting for about 1 minute 30 seconds. So that's all I've been training. 
I want advice is that you know, be it you're doing push up, sit up, or you know, 2.4, you know, don't rush. I know you're excited, don't rush. Take your time, okay, to gradually pace yourself up so that you are acclimatized to it and then you can slowly pace instead of you get so excited and then you go all out. So, what happened is you might burn out. So, when you burn out, okay, you will just feel like shit. So, always listen to your body, go at your own pace, and then you'll be patient, you'll get there. Alright guys, to wrap up the video, okay, all I want to say is that, you know, I something that I've learned is that, you know, 8 weeks is kind of tight. So next time around, if I'm going to take IPPD again, I'm going to plan like about 12 weeks, you know, for me to prepare. Now I only have about 8 weeks, so it's okay, you know, I'll do the best I can, but that's something I've learned. I'll give about 12 weeks. And also, something to add on is that, you know, recovery, recovery is as important as my training for 2.4 push up sit up because only when our muscles are you know recover our bodies recover they can perform again when we train for it so for the recovery i did a lot of stretches you know after the you know, cool down stretches after the run or after exercise and also of course you have to do the warm-up dynamic exercises moving and also i also do a lot of you know muscle really myo myo fascia uh, muscle releases like you know those used to really release those tight, tight tissue, tight muscle, myofascia. Yeah, I think I'm saying correctly, okay? So yeah, so I release all those using the massage ball or using a stick or all this stuff to really re release it. So those are the things that, you know, I've applied and I've learned along the way because my body is like gonna go break apart. And also, um, and this uh, one last lesson that I've learned is that, you know, no matter what, there's no right time. Just do the best you can. Um, to be honest, I'm not worried about how many sit up I'm gonna get, how many push up I'm gonna get, how many. What's my timing for 2.4 during the actual day, which is next week? Okay, I'm not concerned because as long as I know I've given my best, I've given my all. Okay, the best that I can in this given situation. That's all that matters, and I will accept whatever the outcome is. You know, I'm not worried. All I'm focused is right now, you know, doing the best that I can. And then let, you know, let the outcome come itself. And then I will just be happy about it instead of, you know, worrying like what I'm going to get. Am I going to get gold, silver, just pass? Obviously, of course, I want to get gold because I want to get $500. But, you know, at the end of the day, we have to feel good inside for, you know, doing our best. You know, just be the be bigger, better version of yourself. So that's the reason why you know I'm not anticipating anything. I'm gonna give my all next week, mark my work, and then yeah. And I want you to do the best also. That's all I want to say. Thank you so much for watching till the end of the video. If you are still watching me talking, I really appreciate it. You know, do subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. and hit the bell button so that you won't miss another video when I post. And like this video, okay, if you really enjoy the content. And also let me know in the comment if you want to see anything, any content from me in the future. Or if you have any comments regarding this video, just let me know in the comment. I would love to read and reply to you. And yeah, thank you so much. Keep going. Keep smiling. Let's go. Let's go.